Kevin, hey, congratulations on your new movie, Ordinary Angels. Thank you very much. Been, uh, yeah. So uh, I can't wait for audiences to see it. <laughs> I know I've been hearing a lot uh, about it lately. I guess uh, one of your uh, one of your associates uh, came to a local church here in my in my hometown of Clovis, California, to uh, promote. Oh to talk about wow. their angels and so a lot of people from that church is uh, already uh, buzzing about the film you are in clovis you're near my home my hometown uh birth town where i grew up so know clovis very well oh most excellent so uh so tell us about uh how this project actually came about yeah, this was a film. We have a deal at Lionsgate. Uh, my partner, Andy Irwin, who was actually just in Clovis. Um, and, uh, you know, usually we pitch them up story ideas. This was a story idea that came from Lionsgate to us. And what happened was um, uh, there was a producer, John Berg, uh, produced a lot of movies. He brought it into Lionsgate. How John Berg got it was, ironically enough, through the music artist, Dave Matthews, uh, who found this story. And it just meant so much to him that uh, he pitched it to uh, John Berg uh, a number of years ago and, and Berg loved it and brought it to a friend of his at Lionsgate. And uh, when we when we signed our deal with Lionsgate a number of years ago, Lionsgate presented it to us. and we We're like, wait a minute. We actually know the pastor of the church that this story is about. And we know a lot of these players. This is crazy. It's a small world. So. Uh, we weren't familiar with the actual story. Uh, and so, but when we dug into it, we're like, okay, this is too good to be true, to be not a movie. We've got to really tell this story uh, because, and it, and for us, it was the perfect follow-up to Jesus Revolution, which really showcases what the gospel of Jesus Christ is all about, where we have a true story now that showcases um, the gospel in action and what we do to help other people in our community when we think of others more important than ourselves and um and the movie will make you laugh make you cry and it's just a really great performances by hillary swank who everybody knows won a couple of oscars and then alan richson who's everywhere right now he's on uh, reacher as reacher and on amazon's series popular series and uh, both of them do just an outstanding job uh you won't want to miss it it's coming soon february 23rd now in in the case for a film like this, how much uh, liberty did you have to take to uh, to how can you say to narrate a, a story to be more compelling? Not at all. I mean, actually, we had to pull some things back and down because it was so extraordinary. Um, so everything that you see in there pretty much happened the way it did. Um, and, and some of the data points, uh, we actually were like, oh. I don't want to give some of the story away, but we had to kind of bring it down to reality because the trueness of it was actually a lot more, uh, which is very rare. You usually got to pump some things up to make it more dramatic. But this one was so dramatic that we had to pull it back some. Was it was it very challenging um, on production to recreate a snowstorm and the uh, and the iconic snow scene that uh, that everyone talks about on the news? Yeah, we needed snow. Uh, the true story took place in Louisville. It doesn't really snow that much in Louisville, so we couldn't shoot it there. Uh, so we went up to Winnipeg, Canada, where it snows a lot. And um, uh, because we needed some scenes that did not have snow, kind of had to shoot it in a shoulder season. Uh, so we shot in the months of like March, April, May and got well, actually, ironically enough, art imitated life or vice versa, because while we were filming one of the biggest blizzards ever hit Winnipeg, um, barreled down on the city, shut the roads down for a few days. Uh, so we got plenty of snow. Um, you know, we enhanced the snow a little bit just to even it out, but you'll see a lot of real snow. And and we didn't we didn't want to shoot in the south, the southern United States and have to fake the snow. And we wanted to really make it look real uh, as much as possible for uh, what happened um, during the story. Admittingly, uh, the the guy upstairs probably had a hand into. Uh, into <laughs> yeah, there were days where we were like praying for snow, and then there were days where we were like, "Okay, God, enough, no more, no more, <laughs> too much snow." <laughs> <laughs> Most excellent. Well, let, let me wrap it up with uh, one last question with you, uh, Kevin, because um, you know, obviously, uh, you did a film like this. Uh, tell tell us about uh, these faith based films, or uh, you know, the belief in miracles. 
because it, these type of films are you know becoming more and more popular not um in the theaters as a as like for myself i've been covering a lot more of these type of films yeah look the movie theater is kind of like an election so people vote with their ticket when you buy a ticket you're telling hollywood these are the types of films that i want to go see so when our last film, Jesus Revolution, did really well, obviously we were thrilled with the ministry that came out of that. But I also told Hollywood, look, there's an audience for films like this, and it actually helped get Ordinary Angels a release date um, a year later. And so, and we've got like four more coming this year. Uh, a lot of it is on the success of Jesus Revolution and a previous film we had before that, um, American Underdog, which did good. And of course, I Can Only Imagine, which was about um, five years ago, uh, did really good. So. The more um, people show up to films like this, uh, the more you'll see Hollywood kind of put them out because they want to make movies for the audience that wants to see those specific movies. And that's exactly how it works. There's no agendas. There's no this and there's no that. I mean, it's very expensive to put these movies out. And so, um, you know, like any business, they don't want to put movies out that are going to lose a bunch of money. Well, this film certainly pulled our heartstrings because I, I can't I can't admit you have to bring tissues for this film. Yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> Kevin, thank you very much uh, for uh, speaking to us. And certainly you need to make more films like this. this. This is a wonderful film for Ordinary Angels. Appreciate it. February 23rd in theaters. Check it out. Thank you.